China has been relentlessly battling desertification for years, and its efforts are often hailed as groundbreaking. From 2016 to 2020 alone, China managed to transform around 21.7 million acres of decertified land into thriving green areas, averaging 4.3 million acres per year. By 2022, they planted another 9.3 million acres, and in 2023, that number reached over 9.8 million acres. These accomplishments sound impressive, but desertification is a massive challenge, and planting trees alone may not be enough to halt the spread of deserts. While the greening program is ambitious, experts warn that if desertification continues, China might have to plant trees for centuries to come. Despite this, the Chinese have found a creative solution. According to researchers at Beijing Forestry University, up to 85% of plants planted in decertified areas die, largely because of shifting sands. Sand particles are constantly moved by the wind, and without something to hold them in place, they leave plant roots exposed, making it nearly impossible for trees to thrive. Desert areas, like the Taklamakan Desert, where 80% of the land is shifting dunes moving at a rate of around 65 feet per year, present a particularly hostile environment. The lack of wind protection and the scarcity of nutrients in the sand makes it incredibly difficult for plants to survive. Still, China has not given up. Every year on March 12th, Tree Planting Day, millions of people across the country plant trees, and citizens between 11 and 60 years old are required to plant three to five trees annually. However, planting trees in such conditions requires specialized knowledge. For example, while planting in sandy soil might work in some places, it's crucial to know where, how, and what to plant to ensure the plant's survival. This is where a clever, albeit controversial, method comes into play, straw. Straw, in this case, refers to the dried out parts of wheat, rice, oats, and other crops. After harvesting the grain, the leftover straw is often discarded or used for animal feed. With China's vast rice production, generating over 200 million tons of straw annually, the country has found a way to repurpose this resource to combat desertification. The straw is spread across sand dunes and large grids, creating a checkerboard pattern that helps stabilize the sand and provide nutrients for the plants. This method is labor-intensive and expensive, requiring significant resources to transport and set up the straw grids. Trenches are dug, and the straw is carefully placed, but despite the challenges, the results have been impressive. Over time, the straw decomposes and becomes natural fertilizer for the plants, enriching the barren soil. In just three years, the straw cells break down, leaving behind a fertile patch of land where plants, like shrubs and desert-resistant trees, can thrive. The benefits of straw are not only limited to providing nutrients for plants. The straw grids also act as barriers, reducing the movement of sand by up to 99.5%. This drastic reduction in sand flow stabilizes the environment, allowing plant roots to remain anchored. The straw also offers wind protection, which is essential in the harsh desert conditions, where winds can be destructive. This combination of factors significantly improves the survival rate of plants in areas where traditional planting methods would fail. To make this process more efficient, the Chinese developed a mechanized solution. Instead of manually placing small straw piles, they created long straw ropes, which can be quickly laid down over large areas. These ropes, produced in factories, are more efficient, lasting up to six years, twice as long as traditional straw, and can be reused. The process is now 60% more efficient than the previous manual methods, saving time and labor while maintaining effectiveness. But even with these innovations, China went a step further. They designed a vehicle that can automatically lay the straw ropes, dig trenches, and plant seeds, all with minimal human intervention. This fully mechanized process allows for a much faster and more efficient system of combating desertification, reducing the need for manual labor and enhancing the overall speed of implementation. Despite these advancements, sometimes the terrain makes it difficult to use the automated machines. In such cases, workers dig trenches by hand and then use machines to cover the straw with sand. Though not as efficient as the fully automated system, this method still allows for a significant reduction in labor and time compared to the traditional manual methods. One might question the real-world effectiveness of these straw grids. The proof is in the results, especially when we look back at the construction of the BTU Lanza Railway in 1958. Stretching 615 miles, 87 of which passed through the Tungur Desert, the railway was initially thought to be impossible to build. Experts predicted that the railway would be buried under sand within 30 years. However, the Chinese engineers successfully stabilized the sand using straw mats and, later, straw cells. 
The straw cells not only helped stabilize the sand, but they also supported the growth of desert-resistant plants, turning the desert areas around the railway into green spaces. This solution became a model for the rest of the country, and in 1988, it was awarded a special prize for national science and technology progress. Today, the railway remains operational, and the sand protection system continues to protect it from desert encroachment. The success of the straw system did not go unnoticed, and soon other countries, battling desertification, adopted similar methods. The idea of using straw to stabilize sand dunes spread internationally, and many areas suffering from desertification began to see improvements in their own ecosystems. Fast forward to 2022, and the Chinese have once again shown their commitment to fighting desertification. The country opened its first high-speed highway through the Tungur Desert, a project that involved more than just laying down asphalt. To protect the highway from the desert's harsh conditions, a multi-layered system was put in place, including gravel belts and, of course, straw cells. This innovative solution saved millions of gallons of water and building materials and made the highway eco-friendly, demonstrating the versatility of straw in combating desertification. The success of these methods is not limited to just railways and highways. China continues to use straw and other innovative techniques to protect roads and infrastructure passing through deserts. For example, the Taklamakan Desert, known as the Sea of Death, is home to a highway that spans 349 miles. To protect this vital transportation route, China employs straw cells and plantings, ensuring that the desert does not swallow the road. China's efforts to combat desertification have evolved significantly over the years, showcasing the country's remarkable ingenuity and unwavering commitment to preserving its land. What started with basic tree planting has now grown into a sophisticated and multifaceted approach. The introduction of straw grids, which act as barriers to prevent sand movement, has provided a novel solution to protect newly planted saplings in shifting dunes. These straw grids, combined with mechanized machines for laying the straw and digging trenches, have drastically increased the efficiency of the planting process. This system allows China to cover large areas quickly while ensuring the plants have a better chance of survival in harsh desert conditions. Beyond this, China has also developed advanced methods such as creating straw ropes that are laid down mechanically, reducing labor costs, and improving the durability of the sand barriers. The incorporation of plantings into these grids adds another layer of protection, as desert-resistant shrubs and trees help to stabilize the soil over time. This evolving strategy is not only about mitigating desertification, but also about creating a self-sustaining ecosystem where the desert becomes a thriving environment for plant and animal life. Although the battle against desertification is far from won, China's innovative solutions are proving highly effective in transforming barren deserts into green, thriving landscapes. With continued investment and adaptation of these methods, China is well on its way to reducing the spread of desertification ensuring a healthier and more sustainable environment for future generations.